the world they are, companies today are operating in a far different environment than 10 or even five years ago. The impact of the global economy knows no borders. Local markets have given way to the global marketplace, where your customers are just as likely to be half away around the world as in a nearby town. Decentralization, increased governance, privacy, security, they're all part of the daily fabric of doing business. So what is it that separates the struggling companies from those who survive and thrive? We continue exploring these topics with a look at some companies who have transformed the challenges inherent in today's economy and turned them into competitive advantage. Why do women earn less in America than men do? Because from the very first job we get out of college, we get given a salary and we assume that's the salary. Men, and the controls all show this, men get given a salary and they assume it's a negotiating position. And so they will bump their very first salary up by 10%, whereas we're back at base. By five years later, this means men on average out of college are earning $5,000 more than women. Our lack of confidence is costing us $5,000. But we're not there by the grace and favor of our employers, which is what we seem to think. God forbid that we ask for more money because, what, we're lucky to have the job? We're there because we're valuable. And when you go into those negotiations, for whatever it is, remember that you are there because you are valuable.